so it's Easter weekend and I just wondered whether you might want to come on a walk with me. Let's go. Not really sure where I am, <laughs> but I'm not mad. It's lovely. To figure out if I can keep walking that way. So it doesn't seem like I can go the way that I think I need to go, but then again. It might not be the way I need to go. Um. <laughs> okay. Take two. I do have a feeling I'm on the wrong side of the river. But I don't know that house. So maybe I'm on the right side of the river. Just in a completely different place. Regardless, I really want to to go to that house. It looks awesome. So I just checked my location on my phone, even though I kind of wanted it to be an adventure. But I've managed to actually. I had a sneaking suspicion when I saw this house because I was like, it kind of looks like it could be in Bishopthorpe, and I have actually walked far enough out to be right next to Bishop Thorpe, so that could be the Archbishop's like castle thing, house that they've got in Bishop Thorpe. I can't remember what it's called, but awesome. Never seen it from the back. <laughs> it's beautiful. dog update it's still running around I've gathered it's an Australian Shepherd and currently it's having a ball running through the watery bog <laughs> on the top of the 
field, which is delightful. There it is. Oh. Now I know where I am now. Back with the very loud dual carriageway. It's not a motorway, dual carriageway. Um, and I also realised when earlier I said, oh, I feel like I'm on the wrong side of the river. I can't possibly have been on the wrong side of the river when I never crossed it in the first place. <laughs> Which is embarrassing. <laughs> Don't do drugs. Or do. Or to you, I suppose. about an hour, hour and 15 of a walk. It was really nice. I like going places where I don't really know where I am. <laughs> it's very exciting. Um, I think next time I'm going to actually go on the other side of the river and because um, I know it's always like the whole the grass is greener on the other side but it looks really green on that side of the river and I've actually never walked it so I think I'll do that next but for now I think I'm going to do a bit of a read so at the moment I'm reading fairy tales for millennials so this I bought because I thought it would be alright and interesting to see how they would redo them but I'm halfway through Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and I have to say it's actually hilarious and I'm really enjoying it so I might do a little bit of a read from this um, before it gets too cold <laughs> and then go home. I'm back from my walk and I've got my green tea cup as big as my head how I like it and I think I'm gonna do some more reading in bed um, but before I round off this Good Friday section of the vlog I think I might read you some of the fairy tales for Millennials because I have to say it was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be so I'll get that sorted Hello, it is Saturday. <laughs> it's Saturday. Um, it's been good, good Friday. Easter Sunday and Easter Monday. What's, what's Saturday? Adam, is there a name for the Saturday in Easter? Because there's like Good Friday, Easter Sunday and Easter Monday. Is it just Saturday? There's a name. 
Oh. Okay, there's a name, but we don't know what it is. Either way, it's Saturday, and I'm gonna go for a walk on the other side of the river. I'm actually gonna cross the river. So I'm gonna cycle, because the only bridge is the wrong way. So it's, in my mind, it's that way. Um, so I'm gonna cycle there, park my bike, and then walk that way. Um, because I've never walked it, I've lived here my whole life and I've never walked on that side of the river at that point. I have walked on the closer to town bit but not that way. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I've just finished Fairy Tales for Millennials and I have to say, hilarious. I've laughed more times at this book than I've laughed at a book in years. <laughs> um, I think my favourite I think it's between Jack and the Beanstalk and Cinderella, but they are all wonderful. Didn't go very far, <laughs> back at home. Um, my lace got tangled around my pedal, tightened up, I couldn't move my foot off the pedal. I had to pull into the curb and very quickly decide that I was just gonna have to make myself fall off the bike, but luckily it was, no, not luckily. Would have been better with the other foot. No, it was the foot that was closer to the side of the, the with the path. So I just had to throw myself, not throw, but fall off my bike. So, because the other way would have been into the cars. I've broken my shoelace, broken my trousers, and broken my not broken my knee, but bro <laughs> skinned my knee. Um, but we won't let that stop us. So, we have cleaned, we have antiseptic, we have plastered up, and we found some clean leggings, and we are going to go again. Oh yeah, and some new shoes. <laughs> Wish me luck. We made it. So the path's taking us away from the river, so sadly I don't think we'll be able to walk behind the Archbishop's Palace, Castle, House, but we should be able to look at it from the front, maybe through the big gates, I don't know how much you can actually see, but hopefully we'll be able to look at something pretty.
I also thought that now that we're actually in Bishopthorpe, rather than the other side of the river, one of my favourite things to do is to search for really pretty houses and I thought maybe we could do that. So an embarrassing one for me again, that's where I was stood yesterday, just there, saying I didn't really know where I was. <laughs> I should have, because my dad lives here, <laughs> I've just not seen it from this angle, this is a marina. He lives on a boat, he's quite cool. Hello Biscuit, yes hello, oh big stretch. Oh. Hello. Yes. Okay, I've had a drink, I've had some food, Biscuit the cat is here with me and on my way out of my house the Royal Mailman had been, postman, and he had left me a parcel <laughs> rolling on her belly. <laughs> so I have a parcel, I know what it is but I don't know which one it is because my hair, I cut off my hair and donated it to the Little Princess Trust a while ago, it was about 16 inches and I had it like shaved and I've been growing it out it's a right, a right mess but it's getting to a length where I could do something with it and I thought I could try out headbands so this is so cute, it's got a little sticker on the tissue paper that says wild ivy this is handmade I bought some off Etsy because I didn't want to buy mass-produced 
Oh, bless you. Make sure that doesn't blow away. And it's got a little wild ivy tag, but look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Might be better with my hair down. Oh, don't know how it's going to look because I had it in the ponytail for ages, so it might just, yeah, it's just stayed in a ponytail shape. So we'll try that another time. Um, but. Oh, <laughs> I took my glasses off instead of the headband. Um, it is gorgeous that material is just lovely and it's so soft oh very excited should we say hi biscuit hi biscuit <laughs> no she says no it's gonna go lie by the porthole you gonna show me where the dreamy treats are <laughs> yeah? Are you gonna show me? Mm. <laughs> Are they in one of these? Are they in this one? What have we got today? Ooh, salmon. Right. You're right, right, right. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. Very exciting. Very exciting. You're so pretty. Yes. Hi. Hello. Hello. Little tail bump. <laughs> Hello. Oh. So nice. <laughs> hey, yeah.
<laughs> ran away. <laughs> so, I'm about to start reading That Inevitable Victorian Thing by E.K. Johnston. And it's apparently about life when the British Empire never fell. <laughs> um, which. <laughs> Biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> Which sounds fascinating, so let's just get into it before she uh, she gets annoyed with me. <laughs> Hello. Oi. 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 Biscuit. Biscuit. <laughs> Biscuit. Come here. Get out of the frame. <laughs> Hello. You sit with me. So I'm back from my walk and I checked my steps and it was like 15,000 steps. Um, I'm now tired. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have a bath. I don't want stiff muscles. I'm going to loosen them all up, relax them. Um, have a good cup of green tea. Might have a pot. Loose leaf. Yeah loose leaf pot of green tea and there's a new Ruby Granger video out I got the notification just as I was starting to really flag on the wall <laughs> and I was like yes I want to watch you eat like a Victorian child for a weekend I really do I do <laughs> so I think I'll also have some toast watch that and then if I am up to it um, read some more I'm very tired though. <laughs> okay, I'll see you tomorrow. 
think I might bake cookies tomorrow. Happy Easter Sunday. So we're going to go have a picnic with Adam's parents outside at some point, I think at one. Um, it's now quarter to 12 and I'm going to make some cookies. So I thought I'd bring you along and hope that they go well. <laughs> Bananas. Um, nom, 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 nom. An equal measure of oats. So the recipe actually has one banana, one cup of oats. But I've done two bananas and two cups of oats. Um, sometimes, when I usually make these, I'll do three bananas at a time and do end up doing six and have loads because they're really good, healthy snacks. But I don't actually have enough honey, which is the next ingredient um, today. So I'm going to just do a smaller version. And we only need them for the picnic and we're not going to eat like 40 cookies. So. It'll be fine. So two tablespoons of honey per banana. So I've got four tablespoons of honey. So we've hit a snag. I forgot that I let Adam use my coconut oil and he's put it back with <laughs> nothing in it. Um, so I thought I had some. Um, We'll wing it. We'll wing it. Let's see how it is with as much as I can scrape from this and then maybe I'll put a teeny bit of vegetable oil in. Um, it shouldn't be that bad. It shouldn't be that bad. So this is what we've got, and I'll show you what it's like when it's mixed up. At this point you could add raisins, chocolate chips, anything you want, but I'm just going to do them plain. Um, I used to put chocolate chips in, then I always found myself preferring them without. Um, but I'm sure I'll go through a phase where I want to have chocolate chips in again sometime soon. <laughs> and then I'm going to let it stand for about just five, ten minutes. Ooh. About five or ten minutes um, just to let the oats really like moisten. <laughs> um, I've got my oven preheated at 180 degrees 
um, and then we'll kind of like use our hands, get a bit dirty and get them into cookie shapes. Okay, so the recipe says 15 minutes, but I've always found that they need a little bit longer and especially today they're a lot soggier than normal. I think it's down to the vegetable oil, um, but they, they look okay, like, but I guess we'll see. Basically I just tend to cook them until they are golden brown and seem ready. <laughs> which is difficult to explain but 15 minutes is a baseline and then I tend to go a bit longer maybe 20 um, but we'll see how they go so they didn't look ready and I went and put my shoes on and now they're a bit <laughs> a bit brown but I transferred them to my little cooler and they didn't look that bad they don't look that bad Cookies! It is, it is 8 o'clock on Monday evening. I went to work today, which you probably saw me and Jasmine, who is the girl like you would have seen in the video, were working on a window display for our shop, um, which was really fun. It's very nearly there. I think, it, we think it looks very cute. <laughs> um, and I've just filmed a book haul video which should be going up very soon and um, that's when I bought 52 secondhand books because <laughs> um, what's self-control what's self-control um, but now I'm very tired because that was a lot of talking and I think I'm not in the mood for more reading I think I might for now watch a film because I need to let myself relax but I think that's where I might round off this vlog it was my first vlog and I've really enjoyed I've really enjoyed making it um I won't be able to do much vlogging but I would like to vlog because I work five days a week and that would be boring to vlog that but I will try and make vlog-ish content because I like it I like it um, so I hope you had a wonderful Easter whether you celebrate it or not I hope you had a great weekend um, and I'll see you in the next video